The sugar industry has always been a source of pride in Negros, but it being the main source of income is risky. When the industry falls, it takes along the province's economy with it. To diversify its economic base while addressing other development issues, San Carlos City mapped out a Master Development Plan, or MDP, a sustainable strategy that spans a 20-year period involving all sectors of the community. The Master Development Plan, which was uh, crafted uh, around 1999. We are even on the process of reviewing it now after 10 years because this is actually a 20-year Master Development Plan, guiding our uh, constituents, our policies on the development of also the support services like health, education, uh, all the the day-to-day uh, -day needs of our, our, our city and our constituents. Taking charge of implementing the MDP is the San Carlos Development Board, the country's only private organization mandated to oversee local development. To help the city shift from a sugar-based economy to an agri-industrial commerce, environmental protection has become a priority. We even had a program here in San Carlos to protect our watershed. We levy one peso per cubic meter of our water to maintain our watershed. We had the development of our eco center, which was actually the first uh, eco center in Region 6. We spent a lot on uh, the information campaign to segregate our ways. In line with this is energy efficiency, seen in the non-air-conditioned green design of the City Hall, and the country's first bioethanol plant that reduces the need for imported fossil fuel. The energy-saving TransLink Highway that links San Carlos to Bacolod City not only reduces travel time by half, but also allows access to remote rural areas, helping boost their economy. Further promoting development in mountain barangays are rural growth centers that train and assist farmers in increasing agricultural productivity that also ensures the city's food supply. May mga projects sila katulad ng greenhouse, saka yung pag-alaga ng mga hayop, pagbigay nila ng mga binhi sa amin, saka yung mga organic. Noon, pag nagtanim kami, pakanya-kanya, ngayon, may mga sistema na. Himbawa, ako, yung tanim ko ngayon, litos. Tapos yung isa-isang cluster, cauliflower. And such organized systems allow San Carlos to achieve its goals. Each new structure is a step towards progress, such as the expanded water port that accommodates roll-on, roll-off vessels, and the social housing network, which has so far answered the needs of more than half of the homeless population. With locals now enjoying a per capita income higher than that of the national government, the city has shown that access to relevant infrastructure and quality services comprising the sustainable city program are its greatest strengths. The continuity of the programs that have been set up is very smooth because we, we are one united community. It was a lot of work between the private sector and the city government that help it be, to, to be realized so that we can move forward.